what is up guys so i just got here with another video in uh, this video I'm gonna do a little haven't done this before but i'm gonna do some a little bit of q a so i came up with some questions and i came up with some of my answers there's probably some questions i've gotten in the past that i will talk about but yeah so my first question first question i brought to myself was so what is project oklahoma remaster and what's the point of it well project oklahoma remaster was was basically the, a remake of the old project oklahoma and the point of the game is really where we're going for realism so we were we kind of went overboard with some stuff in the original but the remastered version is going to change that because of some things we're coming up with sure the map may look the same but there's going to be a lot of big changes because we're still in the remastering process second question I have myself is what, how is this going to turn what are my expectations well my expectations for POR are pretty high because I have a lot of things that I'm expecting to do with the game such as You know, new physics, because, you know, the last update, one of the updates we always did was the atmosphere update. And, uh, yeah, that was pretty good. The atmosphere update was pretty good. And it's a, and I really like this, the atmospheric lighting. But now Roblox is coming their base stage with the futuristic lighting. So, my expectations are high for this kind of lighting. And it's gonna make the game look so much better. Another question that I that some people are asking is, what is the my what is the plot in the uh, main thing you're doing you do in Project Oklahoma? Well, Project Oklahoma, by you can tell by the name, takes place in Oklahoma, and you chase tornadoes. You can chase tornadoes. You can be in the in the weather center forecasting them. Or you could be a civilian running for cover. The game basically is supposed to take place in Oklahoma, so the town placements and names were not as accurate, but we're working towards the accuracy of that. And hopefully, everything turns out good. Another this question I really have for I think a fan asked me this question for what are my pl what are some things I plan adding to PO to for, what are some things I plan in the future well I plan some things that are not in the RCC but I have a lot of things planned in the RCC a lot of things one of those being possibly a driving game, which me and my friends are Death 7 have been working on. And uh, we haven't released a driving game yet. We're still working on it, but we we actually plan to release it if at some point. And I think this Okay, and this is a question I've actually gotten from someone before. And that question is, how do I, how do you plan to make Project Oklahoma better? Well, that's a good question because, one, I plan to do going to Lua. If y'all don't know what Lua is, Lua is basically coding and, and scripting. I have two friends who are really good at it, and I really want to get into it. This is what this really can make you a better scripter and developer. And it's pretty good, and it shows a pretty awesome skill. Okay. 
that's another thing. The, but the, knowing how skilled you are at some things in studio can really help you benefit for, say, if you're on a group project. And now here's another question I ask. Here's another, this is a frequent question I get asked. And that question is, people ask me, is there a way that they can help with the game? Well, currently, the game is just going to be worked on by me and my, and my friend Sir Def7, who is the co-founder of the game. Now, if you have anything you want to make for the game, I feel free to do it. You can uh, send it. If you have a Discord, send a link. You can you can uh, email, uh, you can uh, DM me it. Because we would love to see what you can do. Another question. I I really don't get asked this question, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys. What made me, this question, I think this is a question I've been asked, but the question is, what made you wanna start developing? Well, what made me wanna start developing is, well, I saw how good some, some with some other uh, Roblox developers with Tornado games, such as Forza the 99, Air Train Pilot 22, Manly Toad, and a lot of other ones. There is a lot of young people in the RSCC who are building storm chasing games. And some of them struggle and some of them are successful. For the ones that are struggling, hang in there because you, you'll get there. And another thing, okay, that I was going to say today is. I really have, for those who are making SC games who are struggling, I have a bunch of faith in, in y'all. And if there was any way I can help you guys, I would do it. But I would have to learn how to do a little bit of scripting first. I'm practicing on making models in studio already. I know a little bit of scripting, but I want to be do advanced scripting, which is why I'm doing Lua. So next question is I probably I'm probably gonna get this. What are some of the changes that will be in Project Oklahoma Remastered as compared to the original Project Oklahoma? Well, a lot of changes as far as a new which which include a new admin system. The tornado scale is gonna only go up to five. We're gonna try to go for some bigger and meaner storms. I'm going to try to make storms, which I'm going to practice. If I can pull that off, it would be amazing. Which I'm going to be practicing. Again, I'm getting a few lags, times where I lag during this recording. So I apologize for that. Next question, I really, and not only Adam says about the, the terrain is going to be changing. And that's a big change. Because <laughs> we're, we're planning to add rivers. Which is going to be epic. And not only rivers, but we're going to we're adding like different terrain. We're going to have all types of new different terrain tree lines, hills, you name it. Next question is Will there be any more developers? Well, I think I already answered that one. But there's a chance we could ask more developers depending on how, what you can do. Next 
Next question I had. I think I got asked this by a fan is. Some people want to see this. They said, will there be satellite tornadoes in Project Oklahoma Remastered? The answer, yes. Once I figure out how to make them and script them, we will definitely add satellite tornadoes. Another question is, so, I think I'm going to be getting this. What is this te what is Project Oklahoma really teaching? And I mean what is Project Oklahoma Remastered teaching? Well both PO and Project Oklahoma Remastered are supposed to be teaching like say younger players about tornadoes, the aspects of tornadoes. So one plan I do have in the future is to add a GUI with educational facts about tornadoes. What inspired me to do to possibly do this GUI is the fact that when I had a summer job back in 2017, we there was at, at the science center we had this tornado simulator, and because y'all not fascinated with tornadoes, I would, I had kids come up to me and ask me what did I know about tornadoes, and I told them one of these in. I'm not making this. I'm not making this up either, but. One kid actually told me that they've been through a tornado. Well, a few, a couple of people actually told me they've been through a tornado in real life, which I find amazing that they survived it. If you ha if you have survived a tornado, let me know in the comments. Because you are lucky, guys. There are times in our lives where we get we go face to face with tornadoes and we don't know what's gonna happen. That's the GUI part. And nextly, we're going to be revamping our vehicles. That's another change to Project Oklahoma Remastered. We have the vehicles from the original as of right now, but we're gonna be changing it up soon. We're gonna be reworking some of our vehicles, trying to make it you know as accurate as someone's real life, making uh, a lot of the big changes to vehicles such as interiors, uh, instruments on top. I will be doing instruments mostly. I'm gonna be going on Google. I, I basically, what I do is how to make search, I basically use Google Imaging. And if there's a part I can get, I can ask a friend to help me with that part. I'm actually going to talk today with my friend Sir Dev, see if we can make this a community effort. If you think Project Home Remastered building this should be a community effort, let me know in the comments. Another thing that's going to change, we plan to hopefully make some merch for the game. Also, we have a Discord server that is up. We also have our official Twitter page and our YouTube channel. I will link all of that in the description of this video. But yeah, there's a lot of things that's going to be coming. Another question I've been... I, this is a question I have for, from a fan before. They probably said... I think they said, is this Project Oklahoma going to be the last SC game you make? I really don't know at the moment... But there's a chance it could be and a chance it couldn't. Because I, when I saw people making these SC games, I said, you know what? I want to go for realism. I really want to make Storm Chaser games on my, on my own. But I'm not that good for, enough to be a solo, solo dev, so I have to have help. Which is fine, because I'm going, soon I'm going to be practicing to be a solo dev. And yes, I will. Previous developers will be credited in Project Oklahoma Remastered. The uh, thing in the top where they show the people who did what actually glitched out when we were editing it. So uh, we have to fix that. Hopefully, we can fix it. Yeah, there's a lot of things in Project Oklahoma Remastered that are going to be dead that I hope you guys can appreciate. 
it's gonna be fun. But yeah, like I said, I got in one question. Many of you guys don't know this, but a big question some people are gonna be asking me is when after I left the RCC and planning to return is what and I say I'm gonna to return to promise. Those people are probably asking, what promise did you plan? What is your promise at, for returning to the RCC? Well, my promise is basically to make the best of it, do everything I can, make sure everything goes as planned, make sure everyone enjoys it, focus on the game more, listen to the community and fans, I promise you guys, I will be doing all of this. And also, there will be a version for a group game. There will be a version of Project Call Code Remaster released as a group game for you to play. I have a developer, I have a notebook I'm using as my developer notebook to write down what I want to add. And, uh, we're gonna add it. We're gonna uh, talk. I talk with friends with ideas. And hopefully, this th thing will be successful. Because I'm gonna be starting taking notes of what I wanna put, which is important. So, the first thing before I get into making more things in Roblox possibly making more models I'm going to be going into Lua which is his clothing I'm also but I'm still going to be making models while I'm doing that so practicing Lua is one of my top priorities do I plan to stay in the RCC? Actually, yes, I actually do plan to stay, but making a difference while doing it. Project Oklahoma is closed right now, and and there was some dislike bound on it, but also I'm going to be at the close because there was a lag issue, which we don't want. And I think the lag has something to do with the size of the map. If it is, I'll tr we're, we're gonna fix or whatever the problem is. We will locate it and try to fix it. There's a lot of things that are gonna be changing in the RCC, my friends. And I hope you and I wish. You guys will be here to see these changes because it's going to be epic. And also, guys, in the description, I'm going to leave, put a video to one of my best, one of my favorite moments in Project Oklahoma and from the original, just to show you a glimpse of what will happen in the remastered. So, with this being said, also ignore that face that that one thing in the background behind me with this being said i hope you guys have enjoyed my little video of uh, some q a plus discussing some goals and my promises which i will keep my promises i am making a change i promise to make a change with this game also, there will be some other tornado projects if that I might plan to, when we finish this. Also, guys, I'm all, but not only that, I'm also working on a game called Project Ohio, which be looking forward to that. It's going to be a tornado game, just like PO, POR is. So, I'm actually excited for this. So, yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I am Tornado Hunter Jakari here. And I, and I will see you guys next time. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. Comment down what you think. 
and yeah I will see you guys in my next video but in the meantime I'm gonna be in the studio doing some developing so yeah leave a like subscribe tell me what you think about this video and uh, yeah I will see you guys next time bye and thank you for watching